Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel and we have the AEW Dark on a Friday this week as the pay-per-view is tomorrow and so I guess they put up Dark to try to entice pay-per-view buys for this week so I uh, figured run through it. I will have pay-per-view review up tomorrow as well and there is a Smackdown review coming and depending how busy my overnight is perhaps a few more uh, of the world class series anyway not the best dark although trimmed down uh, to just I think it was an hour three an hour four minutes something like that I tend to like the, the dark shows that are around an hour and uh, 15 20 minutes maximum I think over over that is too long I think under an hour would be too short, so somewhere an hour 15 or so, probably the good fit. An hour can work too, depending on who's on it. But uh, anyway, Taz and Excalibur back on commentary. Not a fan of Excalibur, that hasn't changed. Butcher and Blade with Edgy, Eddie Kingston uh, defeats Fabu Andre and DJ or D D3. Keep wanting to call him DJ for some reason. Anyway, not a good match here. Complete squash. Butcher and Blade will be in the Battle Royal tomorrow. I'm not a fan of this because I'm not a fan of the Battle Royal. I get that they're trying to get somebody new ready, but mm, it's just not for me. Anyway, uh, they attack before the bell. Blade uh, cuts Andre off. And um, hits him with a leg drop and a side slam combination. And they isolate him, make frequent tags. Um, tag to D3. Blade and Butcher hit a uh, backdrop ch choke slam combination. And then they hit the full death on D3 for the pin. Um, not anything to write home about. Ali with QT Marshall defeats Red Velvet. Velvet is not ready to be here. Brandy Rhodes joins in on commentary. Nothing really big comes comes out of that. Back and two back and forth for my taste. With the fact that Ali, for better or worse, some people like her, some people don't, but it is a push talents, and I don't know why they're giving Red Velvet a competitive match with a push talent. It just doesn't make sense, especially in the dark environment uh velvet offers a handshake alley uh you know is offended by this alley he keeps offense going uh several several decent looking knees and then alley hits the rabbit hole finish for the pin um then we move into the dark order portion of the program at least partially uh, Colt Cabana defeats Zach Clayton. Dark Order members do join Cabana at the entranceway. Clayton looks good, but didn't really have enough to do in this match to determine whether he's worth it. Evil Uno and um, Evil Uno and Stu Grayson make their way to ringside. Clayton gets a brief comeback. Hits a strong uppercut, Cabana counters with the Chicago Skyline and hits a lariat for the pinfall. Uh, Dasha is backstage. She interviews Peter Avalon and Leva Bates. Avalon breaks up the tag team with Brandon Cutler because he accuses Cutler of dragging down the team and challenged him to a one-on-one -on -one match. This actually could be good because one of them will actually get a win and maybe they can develop a character off winning one kind of like uh, Barry Horowitz with the winner gimmick in Texas in the early 90s who knows where they're going with it anyway Lucha Brothers uh, defeat uh, Ryzen and Angel Perez I don't know why Lucha Brothers are even here just dark doesn't seem like the right uh, place for them Phoenix hits a springboard arm drag in the start in, in the start of the match, and then uh, Pentagon hits 
uh, several chops, and the other team gets in some offense before getting hit with a sling blade. Phoenix hit uh, a Yoshi Tonic, followed by a Canadian Destroyer. Why does everybody do the Canadian Destroyer move? Anyway, Lucha Brothers hit a combination pile driver and splash for the pinfall. Kingston and the Butcher and Blade come out. They celebrate the win. Uh, he Kingston claims that one of these four men will win the Casino Battle Royal. And that's that. Ivelisse out defeats Killian King. Ivelisse is another person who I like that they're signing women that are higher quality. I do not like that they feel the need to put them on multiple times per show. Save it, make it special, make it matter. Um, so anyway, King comes out and she does a lot of power stuff early. Ivelisse escapes and rebounds with a swinging DDT for near fall. Um, King makes a comeback with an overhead kick and a German suplex for near fall. Diamante distracts King. Diamante, by the way, the tag partner of Ivelisse in the uh, Deadly Draw Women's Tournament a while back. Ivelisse takes advantage, eventually hits a code red for the pin. I mean, it's not a bad match, uh, but again, stars don't need to be going back and forth with not stars, and there should be tiers to talent if we're going to make things make sense. Uh, Dark Order, Alan, or... Alex Reynolds and John Silver, three and four, defeat Sean Dean and Brendan Bullock. Uh, not particularly a fan of this, too. In that, you know, the Dark Order doesn't need to be in every program to be impactful. Uh, Silver hits a great takedown early on and goes for a rear naked choke. Reynolds comes in and hits... Um, an attempted power move, but then the babyface enhancement talents hit a series of tag moves. Silver blind tags Reynolds, and Reynolds and Silver maintain advantage over Bullock for several minutes. Then we see Dean and Bullock make a comeback a second time. Double DDT. Then they go strike battling with everybody. And um, a flipping DDT finish for the win. Eh, not not a great match. It was fine, but did this really need to be there with the pay-per-view tomorrow? Probably not. Uh, Leva, Leva Bates pleading with Brandon Cutler. Um, and then they... He does accept the challenge. Uh, Darby Allen defeats Luther. Why is Darby Allen with an old guy who has a job because somebody likes him? Anyway, Luther attacks Allen before the bell and uh, drives his knee right back into the ring post. Um, Luther's on the knee for quite a while. Darby Allen fights back, kicks Luther's knee, and applies a Fujiwara armbar with uh, joint manipulation. And then they do a rope rake. And then we go to uh, Alan attempting a comeback. But Luther continues the cutoff. And there's a cannonball attempt in the corner. Alan hits a coffin drop uh, to the outside. Alan hits another one on the inside. And then he wins the match. Um, you know, Alan was a guy who went 20 minutes with Cody Rhodes at the start of this, start of AEW, and now can't get by a 50-year-old without a, uh, match where he gets beat on for half of it? Like, what, what sense does this make? I'm all for giving people opportunity. I'm all for putting new talent over. But if you're going to put somebody over, really put them over. Anyway, uh, main event of the show, Nat uh, Natural Nightmares, Dustin Rose, QT Marshall, with Brandy and Alley, defeat Dark Order 9 and 10. 
Um, it was a match that was there. Uh, Nightmares attack bef before the bell, uh, or the Dark Order attacks before the bell, and they go to the outside, and diving stomps from number five, Dark Order maintains, uh, the control for a good bit of the match, and there are several offensive maneuvers that QT Martel has to fight his way away from. Ten pulls Rhodes off the apron. Rhodes gets a hot tag, goes nuts, hits a drop down strike, atomic drop, and the Rhodes Bulldog. Um, Marshall hits ten with the diamond cutter. Rhodes hits the final reckoning on five or nine or ten or one of them. Gets a pinfall. I mean, it was a fine main event. But it doesn't really make me want to buy the pay-per-view. I don't understand the point of putting shows out there that don't advance that many stories and don't sell buys. Um, not a good episode. I know there are other people that like it, but there's if I didn't watch this, I wouldn't have missed anything. Um, Excalibur being back takes away from the show for me. And there's too many talent in a place where... I want tiers to my talent. There's main eventers, there's main carters, there's lower mid card, and then there's enhancement talent. Have everyone clearly defined as one of these, and you'll be fine. Anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Till next time, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Smackdown up next.